So I, I don't know too much about this game in terms of uh, what to expect from the story, and I have, I've seen very little of it in action so far. Uh, but it seems what's pretty interesting about it is that apparently a lot of how you play through it, how you navigate the story, is through this sort of like uh, the way that you communicate with everyone else. Like it's very it's very dialogue heavy, as far as I understand. Um, is you're basically constructing your responses and what you want to say um, through like a card system, and I'm not super sure how it works, but it seemed pretty interesting, and I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this before. Before we get started, let's at least just browse the basics. Um, yeah, nothing to worry about here. Alright, let's go. A childhood spat. The worst fight you and Elias ever had was over a strange locket in Mom's desk. Curiosity got the best of you, but Elias was afraid of getting in trouble. Your mom has collected so much cool stuff in here. How many towns has she visited now? So I don't know. I wonder if they... Empathetic and observant, logical and diplomatic. Drag and drop cards under the placement to play them. Huh. All right, maybe they'll tell me what we're doing here. Oh, I guess we're all playing from a similar deck. I wonder if uh, does it say how you, what the connections are all about? Not yet. I don't have any that are reversed either. Completing a sequence will earn a, a pip, a filled pip. Mismatch will earn an empty pip. When all of them have been earned, the conversation will end. Click the speech bubbles to view previous dialogue. Okay. Let's play Caravaneers, just like her. You be the driver, I'll be the navigator. Wait, hang on. You shouldn't look at her desk. She's gonna be mad. Is that a locket? I've never seen your mom wear a locket. So, so far I don't seem to have any... Oh, no, I do. Here we go. Empathetic and observant the entire way through. I wonder what... Uh... I wonder how this is going to play out. Let me just try switching it up a bit to see where this drives things. Oh no! So in that case, if I choose it, I'm gonna I'm gonna fail a connection. What does that end up meaning? Yeah, like I don't have a choice. Like I can't remove it. Well, here we go. So these, this this I'm guessing in that case is going to be a disagreement or something. Yeah, yeah, I managed to lose out. Hey, you're not listening. We shouldn't be snooping. Yeah, he's immediately disagreeing as well. Why do you always drag me into stuff like this? Put it back before we get caught. A childhood spat. That fight could have only ended how it did. You and Elias talked past each other. Sometimes, Mom said, it's fine to not get along. But that time, she stepped in to mediate. Uh, you two, what are you doing in here? I'll need to leave soon. The caravan's almost here. Come say goodbye. What are you even fighting about? Oh no. So I wonder if these, if, if... if... I wonder if this... I wonder if in the way this is represented... I don't know. It takes some time to figure this one out.
Hmm. All right. Um. Let's try going a little more straightforward. Oh no, he's he's just trying to disagree. People may not respond to the way you, the way you want them to. But that's no reason to throw a fit. If you keep at it, maybe you'll discover different ways to find common ground. Huh. Well. Hmm. Maybe he always plays simpler cards. A chord. Create up to you and the other person each play one card, together connecting four of the same symbol in a row. A chord will protect your progress when a mismatch is made. Oh, so it's effectively like a compromise, even when you have disagreeing perspectives. Or, hmm. Yeah, so now I'm able to play a card that wouldn't necessarily work out, I believe. Not that I have any that would work. I mean, I can literally just keep playing Empathetic and Durban and push the chord over. Then it doesn't matter what he plays. Yeah, we're all on the same page now. It's okay to not always understand each other. One miscommunication doesn't have to end friendship. Let me help you figure this out. If you get a little lost, think about how he's reacted in the past. How you've been able to connect and get past your differences. I mean, most of that's going to end up being... Yeah, I have no dis I have no accord I can I can work with here. Where I don't think this will work because I'd have to have. I'm not sure. I'm gonna try playing this again and see what happens because I have literally no other options. I don't have I don't have logical diplomatic on the left side. Okay. Oh, okay. That's how that works. That's how this word works. Or the accord works. Okay, yeah. And then I can I can round it out. And uh, he'll play his next one and we'll still get through it. Not all disagreements have to be the end of your friendship. Listen to each other. See if you can find common ground. Uh, Mom steps in. You think back on that fight years later, after Mom passed on, when you and Elias had to rely on each other all the more. Farewells. It's your first time back inside Mom's old store since the funeral. All told, she didn't leave much. She was always on the road, and what she brought back sold fast. Elias runs his hand down an empty shelf before clearing his throat. You feel it too, don't you? The uh, weirdness of being in here without your mom. Can't seem to wrap my head around her being gone. My bad. Now I'm the one making things weird. Well, I mean... Keep playing along for now. Yeah, I mean, he he play he seems to play the same thing every single time. Accommodate. Duplicates both symbols of the previous card. Interesting. So he's able to play that first. Hold on, you gotta repeat that. What just happened? These ones, I think, are the accommodates, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. She wouldn't want us to dwell. I gotta cheer up. 
After all, she always looked so pleased when she was here. Making people smile, giving them samples of cool new stuff. Even if they were broke. I think it might just have been her favorite place. She'd be so happy to see the two of us talking over the story like this. Taking over the story like this. Uh, you out there on the open road, and me, uh, keeping an eye on things here. Which is totally just as exciting. Are you jelly? Not that I mind, of course. Being stuck out there in the caravan would drive me crazy. Okay. So we're starting with an accord. I don't I don't have any of the the the, the accommodate cards yet. So I gotta just play like if I play the if I play into the accord now and I don't have as many empathetic observant cards, maybe that's worth trying. No, he has okay, he so he has some too now. Oh, and I finally have the, uh, both, both, uh, uh, I have the mirror versions of these, which is nice. Oh, there's the caravan now. Right on schedule. The leader, Nadine, runs a tight ship, but I don't trust her. I hear she's planning to drop, uh, to drop the town from the caravan route. So I wonder if if there's multiple different routes you can take through as you play the game. Uh, and I wonder if there's basically like hostile and combative, or cooperative, and basically like you can you can go back and forth. Uh, maybe you can like do like maybe it's sort of the same way that that games sort of do like the like. The some of them do like order and chaos. Some do lawful and uh, or do order. Some of them will do like good and bad. You know, um, like if you have different flavors of how you go through it, based on your like. It seems like it seems like it's not just a goal to not get into an argument and have everything explode. It seems like also that you're, you're basically able to drive it um, in one direction or another. That'd be real bad for Barto. Hey, while you're out there, maybe you can change your mind? I'll try. Hmm. Well. There's, there's our accord. Oh, and he, yeah, and he was accommodating it, yeah. Hmm. I mean, I could just keep it going, but I could also vary it up a bit. Really, I'd probably want to try something like this and let it, let the accord work. No matter what, you're gonna do great. I bet you'll come back with a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, you packed everything you need, right? Socks? If the truck breaks down out there and you don't have socks, it's all over. Funny, I'm actually like very particular about getting comfortable socks. It's like one of the one of the great like base like clothing comfort things, and uh, you know how like. People always make the joke of like, "Oh, I got another pair of socks or a sweater or whatever for Christmas." Um, I'm totally down for more more good socks. Transition to bed. The kind of stuff in the game is weird but neat. Yeah, I'm still trying to feel it out. Um, I think I'm probably at the part like considering it's the very very beginning of the game so far. I'm assuming that uh, there's going to be a lot more to it, and the difficulty will start showing up later. I think. I think the way that this is set up right now is because there isn't a super strict, like, very definitive tutorial, like, when when the character's mom pops in, um, and she's kind of mediating a little bit, uh, there's some of that, 
uh, where they sort of you, you kind of get some introduction to how some of this stuff works. Um, but I feel like I don't need to use these tools. Like I'm not so strongly pushed into needing them right right now. It's more like a a, a place to explore and see how this stuff works. I think what's going to happen is that as uh, as you get more stuff you can do, and as you're dealing with people who are more combative. Um, I'd imagine that's when it's going to get harder and, and everything will really come into play. Don't worry about this place. It's in good hands. Take care of yourself out there. Farewells. Uh, you'll miss Elias, too, and wish you didn't have to leave so soon. You planned this trip for a while, but it only started to feel real in the last few hours. The store needs three new products. Need to find three items to make the store reopening a success. Choose a card from your experience to gain, and a card from your past to forget. Ooh. I like the way it's presented. I definitely want to accommodate. 100%. Uh, because I already, I'm already, I'm already good on these. I want to learn how to accommodate. And honestly, the, uh, the strings of empathetic and observant. I would love to get another one of these uh, logical and diplomatic on the left ones. Um, I'm gonna get rid of one of these. Barto, quiet enough to hear the grasshoppers rub their wings together at dawn and the crickets at dusk. Uh, you know the name, nickname, and favorite color of every person in town. It's past time to leave for a spell. And there's the Dean. So her... I guess those are her primary qualities. The Resolute Leader of the Caravan. I guess we'll be saying hello. I don't know if that means that's her primary... Um, conversation abilities. Follow close. Almost a dozen, a dozen vehicles sputter down Bartow's dirt roads. Their engines once signaled bombs imminent departure as well as a return. Nadine, sitting on the running board of her truck cab, gestures for your attention. I trust you have sufficient provisions for the route. Our first stop will be... Uh, Pachenko, the artist colony. Nadine mentioned the place from Mama's stories, Pachenko. Be alert. Reptiles cross Sunder Lizard Road to their heart's content. Uh, you don't want guts in your windshield. Uh, Nadine told me about the road from home to Pachenko. It seems like uh, the way this is set up it almost feels like you have more... I don't know, maybe I'm misreading this, but it seems like you have more room for disagreements uh, when you have a lot of mismatch squares. Like, it's almost like easier... It's, it's almost like the, the difficulty is weighed to where if there's a lot of the the matches that you have to get to finish a conversation and very little mismatches. Like, so it's almost like, how many mistakes can you make? How how well do you need to do? And I imagine the long, like the, the later, the, the more hostile characters, the, the more tough... Uh, if you have to... I don't, I'm not really sure where the story's going yet, but whatever amount of like diplomacy you have to arrange uh, might have a ton of matches required and like no no mistakes allowed. Maybe I could be wrong. That's kind of what I'm reading into right now. Like I definitely uh, I'm still working to get a beat on how this is how this works. All right, let's play the easy card. Get that a card going. Yeah, she's into it. Okay, I'll keep going. Super straightforward. My condolences for your loss. Your mom and I had our differences, but I respected her all the same. Before the caravan heads out, we need to talk. Unless, you're, unless you turn the store around and keep it well stocked, the caravan will have to drop Barto from the route. Still working on the. We're, if we have the accord going, ah oh man, I don't know. 
I don't know if, if playing this card will keep the Discord, the Accord going. I keep saying Discord because I'm spent so much time getting the uh, the server up to up to spec, up to uh, to a better spot. I'm gonna try this to see if the Accord goes. No, it doesn't. Oh, she's playing along though. That's good. That that makes it easy for me. Wait, not that one. Not that one. Put that away. Without the store in good shape, it doesn't make sense for the caravan to stop here. Awful waste of resources. Probably don't have to spell it out, but this would be bad for Barto. I know we all depend on the traffic. It's not my choice. Not entirely. I make the final call, but I'm beholden to the caravan members and their needs. Believe it or not, Barto would be dropped already if I didn't owe your mom a favor. I argued on your behalf. Well, um, I could try for an accord. Yeah, here we go. Now, if I really wanted to, I could play this and keep it going. It might not sound like a kid, but I'm in your corner. My hands are tied with this. I want to see you succeed. All up close. Nothing about this situation is good, but Nadine probably isn't to blame. You thank her for the info. She mentioned a place from Mom Stories, road from the home to Pachenko, and we're first heading to Pachenko. Okay. Let's see how Mom's truck fares. Hopefully we don't run over any lizards. Uh, 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 it's a tough call, because... I might just keep what I've got. I might just say, like, grab this one and get rid of this one, and I'm good. Just, like, just stay, stay where we are. There's not enough, really, to gain here. There's nothing new... I don't really feel a need to swap up. I've, I've like, what I would want is I want another logical and diplomatic on the left and empathetic and observant on the right. Um, just to round up my, like, to have more flexibility. Just because I don't know what to expect yet. Uh. Well, that's cool. Set out on your next trip. You might not be home for a while. That's fine. I really like all the presentation for this. Wow. Like everything in this, all the all the uh, the different uh, UI elements are so good. Like everything, like the it adheres to the style really well. It's very consistent. I mean, even down to like the the uh, the particulars of the art, like the the the, the line weighting and the readability of everything and the the way that the colors play together. Um, as somebody who works on UI for a living, or, well, jeez, I guess I'm switching to, uh, to technical designer now, but as somebody who for the longest time was doing UI, forgot this is live, the card I wanted was the right card. I, uh, let, let me, uh, I, I will say this as, as we're getting, we're still getting started, it's only been hardly half an hour. Let I, I definitely want to struggle. I want to fail. I want to make mistakes. Um, I want to go in and not know what I'm doing. Um, so I think that'll make it the most interesting, to, for, for, not only for me, but also for anybody who's watching. Hey, Messiah. But uh, if you guys want to talk, uh, like if you've already gone through the game, you want to talk spoilers and stuff, um, there is there is actually a spoiler channel in my Discord server. Um, so that might be a good place to go uh, if you want to talk way past my experience. But uh, yeah, well, they, any game I I start a new, I usually want to like I'm totally fine with failing. I'm I'm fine with choosing, making catastrophic mistakes and going down a weird path. That's totally cool. Um, that's what makes the experience interesting to me. 
Um, so, in fact, not knowing, not knowing, and making the mistakes is is better than knowing and doing everything perfect. So I need to find. I guess the yeah, I guess then by the uh, by the end of the uh, by the end of the the end of the not even month. I guess just by, by the thirty first day. I need to get a couple items to uh, to successfully reopen the store. So these are people I know. Man, there's just been like a million people. Oh my god, yeah. Very, very big game. Um. Okay, so yeah, yeah, in that case then, uh... There's gonna be a bunch. Okay, let's, uh, let's move. Alright. Jenko, here we go. A thriving arch community on the high plateau. Mom's oldest friend, Isabella, lives here. I wonder if that's going to be Isabel then. Then I'll be I'll be going back and forth between um let's see. There's Isabella. Uh The twisty canyon road leading through the Pachenko which sends a green traveler in circles. A rundown vehicle has trouble with the last slope up to the plateau. But Nadine leaves no one behind. Are these flipped from what Nadine had? Isabella, an amazing confectioner and an old friend of Mom's. Mom's favorite candy. Isabella keeps the door to her shop propped open, flooding Pachenko with a sweet scent of fresh licorice, caramels, and other sugary confections. Irresistible advertising. Oh, you're so far from home. When I saw you come in, just for a moment, I'd have sworn you were her. The very image. I wish I could have stayed around longer, after her funeral. I can't get much time away from the shop, you know. Shorter conversation, uh, and more room for error. Alright, well let's start, let's get into core going. Ooh, what is this? This is weird. Does it mean I guess I could choose either and be okay? And I have an accord anyways. Or either that or maybe I don't know. It was beautiful, her funeral. You did so well. Scattering your ashes as the sun rose over the houses. Not a dry left in the town that day. She chose Bartow. I knew her longer than anyone, and there's no place she'd rather rest. I don't have the. This is a card I want to get at some point. Uh, if she doesn't play anything else, I'm taking that. For sure. Of licorice the way she did? I always saw her chewing on a rope. Like it was a stalk of wheat. Go on, have some. Take some for a store, too. Well, your store. Oh, favorite candy. You're never close with Isabella, but she always seemed kind to Mom. This could be a chance to become better friends and sample some tasty candy. Oh, this is, this is, this one, I don't know what, like, I wonder if this just is, like, dual compatible or what. That's so, like, I want this weird, unique one. Like, I don't know if I, if I want this one anymore. I, like, I really, I kind of want both, but this is, this, I don't even know what to do with this. It just seems interesting. I'm assuming maybe there's, it's compatible on either side, maybe. 
In that case, I'm gonna get rid of one of these. We'll find out. Oh, Nadine wants to have a chat. Alright. She's admiring for the public art. Uh, among artists, Nadine contemplates a cast bronze sculpture of a frill neck lizard whose head has been replaced with a man's vacant features. She rubs her chin for a while, chewing on some thoughts. She wants some licorice. Look what I got. Uh, you handle those steep cliffs and inclines well. The caravan's next stop will be Clifton, the market town. Nadine mentioned a place for mom stories, Clifton. The road we take is prone to landslides. Right close. If I can't see your truck, I can't protect you. Ooh. Immediately, one chance for success or failure. How dare you? Ooh, yeah, she's setting me up immediately for, for mistakes. Oh, okay, good, we're gonna make it. Your mom. She had a lot of history here in Bachenko. Many friends, I believe. She always loved licorice. Uh, you admire the sculpture with Nadine in, compar in companionable silence for a moment, imagining how Mom must have found herself in an identical situation many, many times over the years. I think I'm gonna stick with what I got. I'm just gonna take. Yeah, I've already got many of many of either. Man, it's occurring to me now, like how I I have so few cards I can fit in my deck that it's gonna start to be like, considering how long the game seems to be, or how many characters I could potentially encounter. Um. This is going to get tricky. She has her hands, in the, her hands on the steering wheel. Let's go. Second stop on the route. This canyon town has some incredible views of the long expanse. So it's going to be Nadine and two people. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Gain fatigue over time as you travel. Returning home and unpacking your items will remove it. Fatigue cannot match with any symbols. Oh no, the longer we go, the more incoherent we get. Rough, okay. So basically, I guess that gets forced into my rotation then. That's gonna be... Oh, and I only have so many of these to do it, so basically I have to go back and forth trying to uh, to juggle potentially getting into mistakes or getting into, uh, into arguments or uh, discordant conversations. Salty snacks. Every turn down the streets of Clifton seems to reveal another mountain in the distance, another horizon. Nadine doesn't, start, doesn't stop for sightseers, though. You watch for pedestrians as the caravan rolls downtown. So we got... Can I choose who I talk to? I guess so, yeah. I have choices. So Ramir, a man from the caravan, he looks familiar. And Alexis, an enthusiastic peddler of salty snacks. You know who likes salty snacks? Me. Give me chips, give me pretzels. I'll take heavily seas-halted roasted almonds. Desert's Edge. The vendors of Clifton strive to overshadow their competitors with mountainous piles of goods. Among them, one stall stands out for the rest, accented with a colorful umbrella. Maybe some beef jerky. Welcome, welcome. Join me in the shade. 
try some spice pecans? I have many varieties, dozens. So the, I'm assuming this is an opportunity to pick up another. <laughs> it's funny. So far, it should be two food items in a row. Um, I'm fine with that. If I'm if I'm just picking up random exotic food stuff, so that's totally fine. Get in there. Oh, I can work this. Get that accord going. Many merchants here sell nuts. Yes. Uh, none of none are worth your time. Uh, well, some are passable, but mine the best. Okay, so I keep my cord. That's good. Uh, you're not from Clifton, I can tell. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You'll uh, you'll learn to blend in. You haven't yet, my poor fish. I'm not a fish. I'm sort of sort of cat. Or I have like a, uh, I have like an Adventure Time hat. Oh no! No, no, no that's a comedy. I miss. I for a second I blanked out thinking that was this the the fatigue, and I'm like, how? What am I doing here? I have nothing to work with here except for an accommodate. And I like I don't think my. Uh, I'm not sure if my cord is gonna work. I don't know. I'm not willing to try it yet. I'm willing to keep going and accommodate. Yeah, uh, oh no. Oh no! It's gonna be discordant. I messed up. Well, what's the least amount of damage we can do? Play one of the cards we got many of. Sorry. Not a fan of that flavor? Try this one. I am, I am like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like roasted peanuts or, uh, or almonds. I'm not, pecans are okay. Oh god damn it! <laughs> you did it again. You trapped me. I have to, I have to have two more successful encounters, and I'm in the dumps right now. But whatever, I, I can, I can. It seems I can. Your eye wonders. Do I bore you? Oh man, kill me! All I can play right now. Oh no, it's fatigue. Never mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up losing it here. I have nothing to work with. Yeah. Oh, don't drop those. Oh no. Well, food for birds, or perhaps for you, when you come to your senses, of course. When you do, these roasted nuts will be waiting for you here, with me. Alexis is impossible to reason with. In their mind, it seems your very presence means there's still a chance to sell you on some roasted nuts. Uh, seems I'm too too tired to deal with it. Well, I'll, I'll certainly pick one of the ones that's going to help me a lot, which is going to be this. Familiar face. You know his name, Ramir. He grew up he grew up in Barto, traveled with a caravan, turned from neighbor to visitor. He's sitting off the hood of a car the same way he used to sit off his porch. Uh, way back in the day. Uh, first time with a caravan, ain't it? Hope your mom taught you the ropes. Not easy out there. I remember my first time. Pachenko, Clifton. Uh, Bukum, Boro, a whirlwind of new experiences. Oh no, Bukum, Boro is, is, is one thing. <laughs> okay. Just keep your cool. The road to Bukum, Bukum, Boro shreds a lot of tires. Don't panic if it all goes to hell. I hope I'm not too tired for this. At least I didn't get the fatigue right away. Well, let's build a... Uh, Let's build the accord right away. Uh, 
What is that? Observe. Repeal reveals the other person's hand when played. So he gets to know... Yeah, his current cards. He gets to know what I have. Remember, everyone you meet on the road is out here for a reason, and most won't tell you what that is. Don't believe every word that comes out of someone's mouth, even if they're nice. Especially if they're nice. I always respected your mom. She thrived out here, completely in her element. A shark if I ever knew one. Just because she had friends on the road doesn't mean you do. You don't inherit connections. I, I, I guess I inherited the potential, right? Oh, we're gonna do this, are we? It took your mom years to build her network. It'll take you time, too. I don't want to see you ruin what she made. He seems worldly. You listen as he spins tales of his experiences on the road, taking his advice to heart. Probably gotta get another point of fatigue, right? I don't think I've won any of these. Let's just swap for wait, 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 one's an observant. Hold on. I think uh, one more fatigue and I might want to turn back. I might need to, yeah. I, I consider, like, I'm imagining I might, it might be worth my time to rest. Um, I mean, there's going to be a certain point where I can't hold a coherent conversation just because I can't. I don't have enough words. Uh, every turn down the streets of Clifton seems to reveal yet uh, another mountain in the distance. Another horizon. Nadine doesn't stop for sightseers, though. Okay. Hey. Hey. A simple detour. The bright, unobstructed sun over Clifton powers up the truck quicker than usual. We're on a solar vehicle? Uh. Uninvited? Ramir opens your passenger side door and hops inside. What a rude man. Not a proposition. The caravan usually gets around to Anka last, but I've got something to take care of there. Oh, uh... That's fine. Oh no! <laughs> so remember how I was talking about earlier where it started to look like, uh, the way that they do difficulty for conversations is how many successes do you have to make? to win versus how many failures do you have to make c couldn't you make before you lose I can't make a single mistake one mistake is gonna be it uh oh no and I've got the fatigue too I need to get this thing out of the way but I don't want to spend it oh, I'm hoping that one of the observance is gonna show up soon uh, crap I've already lost <laughs> damn it crap Yeah. Well... I don't have an accord or anything. This is it. Well, I'm gonna concede. I'm tired. Sorry. Eh, yeah, forget about it. I'll go myself. I'm used to flying solo anyway. You try to convince Ramir that leaving the caravan is unsafe. But he's not hearing out a greenhorn. Sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> I don't feel it like going anywhere. Here, to you. Keep the same Z's. I wanna go back home. I need I need a break. How do, how do, can I I mean 
caravan stopped in Clifton. It was my first time seeing the area. I found one item from the store reopening. I need two more. So before even the end of the first... I don't even know if this counts as a week. The first ten days. Um, I found an object. So I found one thing so far. I want to go back and rest. Yeah, Kunzer, it's uh, it's interesting. I, I don't quite know where the story is going, but it's, if it's all if it's all kind of just uh, making your way about and uh, and learning about the learning about each individual area and meeting people, it's that's totally cool by me. I gotta figure out how to go home. I'm too tired. I'm worried about getting more fatigue points. Crips remaining. I wonder if, uh... I wonder if, uh... I don't know. Well, I could, I could just make a loop. Strange to not have an overarching plot that they're being gone over the head with. I mean, there is sort of. I mean, it's it's literally the character's the character's mom died, and she was basically she had a she had a network of people she, that she um, supported the store with, and she basically went out to uh, to negotiate uh, picking up random random items and stuff. Um, and you're taking up her mantle and trying to not mess it up and building a network along the way. You're sort of like a traitor, sort of, so to speak. Like you, I don't know how to explain. It. Like a, like a, like an acquisition specialist. I mean, the premise is the premise is a lot lighter than like, you know. There's this evil clown who's, you know, taking, uh, who's squeezing magical beings from another from another world to make magic crystals. To give himself ultimate power and plans to uh, turn the power of the the goddesses themselves to his will and dominate the world, you know. It's it's not like it's not you know it's not a JRPG plot that that is like over the top, you know. That's not SMT. That is that's that's Final Fantasy VI. SMT is a whole other thing. SMT is more like SMT is sort of like. And bear in mind, I've only played Persona Three, watched Persona Four, and played SMT Three. Um, it's more about sort of like. An exploration of morality and the a constant struggle between uh, order and chaos. It's a bit, it's a bit different than at least in Final Fantasy VI. Anyways. Let's go. You know, actually, rather than rather than going ham, oh, that's cool. It even turns around too. <laughs> um, rather than going fleeing, tail tucked between legs, let's go one step further and see if I can hold a conversation. If I'm not too tired, I'm probably. I'd imagine I'm going to get another point of fatigue. A dusty old stop left behind when the railroad broke down. Bukam Boro, and I'm not—I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right. It—it's it's probably like a, a missing syllable that I—I I don't know. Like uh, in Guacamelee, one of the characters' names is—is uh, is pretty much it's like Shitabe, and it's X apostrophe T A B A Y. And uh, there's no way I'd ever guess that. I'm not even pronouncing it right, anyways. Resting on the roof of your truck one evening. You browse through some mom's old notes. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, look at this view. Mom always loved visiting Pachenko and reconnecting with old friends. Thinking of her, you feel some of your fatigue melt away. Hey, nice. Get out of your fatigue. So I removed a fatigue card. Nice. That's that's what my current deck looks like now. Cool. I'm glad I kept going then. I would have been worried otherwise. A red-tailed hawk perches on the dormant railroad tracks above uh, Bukumboro, gulping down a lizard. The few vendors in town wait outside their stores. Windows cleaned and sidewalks swept. They count on the caravan's arrival. Matilda, Matilda, she's grinding leaves on a mortar, in a mortar. I actually need to get a mortar and pestle. I need to get that and a muddle. Like, next time I make, like, a real trip out to, like, not just pick up groceries, I really need to pick up, like, I really need to hit up, like, any random, like, Bed Bath & Beyond or Target or something and get, like, uh, get those things. i just been so, I've been avoiding going out as much as possible with a quarantine. There's like this RAM stuff I want to get too. Like I really want to get um, because I'm so outside deprived right now. I want to get more plants. I I picked up one plant so far, uh, a succulent that we ended up naming Sam, Sam the succulent. But I want to get I want to get like a couple more random things, random plants. Just kind of get some get something alive in my apartment because it's definitely not me. <laughs> My plant's name is Sam, short for Sam, and also long for Sam. I actually want to get, um, I mentioned this before, I want to get, I want to get chives, and I want to get, I want to get mints. Get a, 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 a berry, a barreled, <laughs> barreled the basil plant. Even know, I don't know plants. I don't know plants I can think of. I don't know of any plants that would fit a Harry or a Larry. But if we can, if we can figure it out, it might happen. I actually kind of want to get a cactus too. Uh, all right, so let's talk to Matilda. I'm not sure if we're gonna pronounce the E or not. But let's go. Leaves the powder. Matilda's business resides in a low, earth-colored house. The first floor converted into a storefront. Barrels line the walls, filled with fresh tea leaves, whose scents compete for your attention. Hey, we got a lucky duck over here. I just about sold out of my world-famous matcha. I grind the tea leaves up myself. It takes so long, but it's soothing, not tedious. Kinda like meditation. The, the art is really great. And it's it's like consistently good too. Um it like it it delivers a lot on what the characters are all about. So I have a lot of room for making mistakes here. Well, I really only have one. Well, I could, I could accommodate, but it's a little early for that. I gotta do that. Like if I get desperate. Yeah, let's build a cord. What is that? Reconsider. Redraws your hands when played. Oh, interesting. So when when you're getting ready to play it, all of your cards shake too. I like that. All those little touches are excellent. I really want that, actually. That's like a get a jail free card. I searched the, the, the tea leaves for mountaineer altars. Not enough shade around here. The sun is too brutal. I'm feeling that. It's been like 90, like every day for the last while or so. I wanted to like rain for three or four days straight. 
That reminds me, I need to, uh, it's 85 right now, it's, it's 11 o'clock, it's 85, I was gonna try to open the windows tonight, um, I was gonna leave myself a reminder on my phone, nah, <laughs> way too, <laughs> it is way too hot out, screw that. You know what this game reminds me of? Debate Team Slay the Spire? Yeah, I mean, it had, like, all the, all, any, any sort of, like, uh, you know, whether it's, like, the Icy Dungeons or, or, um, what was the other one that just came out? Monster Train. Um, it definitely has that like card game presentation like that. Um, I've never seen a game that drives conversations like this though. And there's actually kind of so few games that have a conversation mini game at all. Or well, so few games that have one that are interesting. Because some of them are. You see some that are just kind of like just like. Your choices are like be nice, be a jerk, be diplomatic. You have like three or four different options that are basically that, but like not in a way that like not in a way that has any any that's not, that's elaborate at all, you know. Yeah, divinity was kind of in that in, in that direction of of having anything, you know. Or uh, oh, crap, didn't Oblivion do something? But Oblivion was really difficult to figure out. Where like you hover over a thing and then the character gets it like the character startles at you or whatever, but it's like it didn't. I don't know. It didn't feel like a robust thing. And this in this game, uh, it feels like extremely well fleshed out, considering that it's already getting more and more interesting. And I've probably seen maybe I don't know if I've seen a, a fifth or a sixth of it so far. Where did I get some of her tea? You ever been out that way? I swear. They won the climate lottery. But the sea will eat them first, so... Uh, that's just how it goes, huh? Pick up and move wherever it's still habitable? Uh, who knows when the groundwater will run out here. I nice said so you're not responding, you're listening to me. <laughs> Ah, uh, no worries. I'm just happy to be doing something chill for once. I, uh, I tend to... I, I mentioned this before, I, I've, like, every stream in the last while or so, um, I'm realizing that, uh, I need to do a better job of finding all the nice chill games to play. The stuff that is, like, slower-paced, calming, you know, not, like, Action RPG, Metroidvania, Shmup, like... <laughs> Notice I haven't picked up a character action game in a while. Uh, I can't remember if I've even streamed one ever. No, I did Bayonetta. Didn't finish it. I definitely need that balance. And then, like, what happens a lot as well is that, like, some of the more chill games tend to be, like, towards, like, full-on puzzle games, and... As much as I think Baba is You and Steven Sausage Roll and um, Into the Breach are brilliant games, uh, my my brain is already mush after I come from home for, or when I'm done with work. I was going to say come home from work, but I'm I'm like walk into another room. Um, I tend to want like I tend to want something a little bit less demanding, um, but still engaging, you know. So we already have an, acc an accord, but I also don't have any cards. I don't care to play against it. Uh, like I, I'd love to play. I'd love to play a logical diplomatic into this. Oh, Ooh. oh, she swapped out too. Ah, well, I can accommodate. Yeah, get it. That's why I meditate. Ha. Huh. The uh, only piece I get from watching the world die around me. Oh my god, please not <laughs> don't point that out today. So, matcha? I'll take some matcha. Give me some matcha. Come see me again, and maybe I'll read your fortune, if you're lucky. Well, you don't know if I'm lucky unless you read it. Uh, Miss Hilda's matcha smells incredible. You're lucky to have gotten some. Until they promise to read your fortune if you return. I 
I've never had matcha. I'm not normally much of a tea drinker. Ooh, I really want this one. I'm gonna swap out one of the empathetic and observance, one of the the, the dual sided ones, just so I can. So half because I want to get logical and diplomatic, and half because I want to get rid of one of these. Yeah, get that, that reconsider there. Yeah. Just watch. I'm gonna get somebody who's who's super hard headed, and and they have they have only empathetic and observant, and I'll be screwed. Hey, she's into it. She's enjoying. She's enjoying a bowl of matcha. Ghost town. At a small table outside a store, Nadine whisks matcha in a tea bowl. Her motions are precise. Not a single drop spills. Your presence feels intrusive, like you've interrupted some personal ritual. Damn straight. Still here? Your final stop on the route will be Altarist. Some call it scenic. I don't care for it. The road's in poor condition, more than most. Many travelers bypass Bukumboro, but I enjoy their masha. Oh, here we go. This is gonna be this is gonna be a tough one, a scary one. Let's see what we can do. All right, whatever. She's gonna play alone then, whatever. Let me uh, let me throw a wrench in this just because we have an accord, anyways. Perfect. This place, Bukumboro, it reminds me of Barto. You find that to be an accurate assessment? You leave the name to sip her, her drink in peace. I think I'm set. I don't care to take any of these. Well, I don't know. No, oh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and just stick with what we got. She's ready to go. Let's go. Man, the UI for this is so good. It's, it's, it's got the style so well nailed and integrated into everything. And like all of the random like little uh, flourishes and stuff are awesome. You know, whether it's the, uh, you know, whether like as it, you know, it animates the underlining when the stuff is, anal when the stuff is selected, it, the underline jiggles, it's got, you know, um, all the tool tips are all stylized, you know, everything. Uh, everything is so carefully put together. Well, so yeah, you, know, you know what it must be. Then we're gonna take we're gonna take trips that get further and further out, maybe, and then we'll get to Anka eventually. Can't go now. Seeing town known for its comfortable climate. To pseudo. He takes pickle to the pinnacle. I gotta see this. The central plaza bustles with families out enjoying the weather. Uh, weavers and rug makers in their open air workshops, and old folks playing Krivar in the shade. This is the track for the trailer. This is like my favorite track so far that I've heard. Barto only gets a couple days a year this mile. I need to look up the soundtrack and see if it's on like uh, Spotify or whatever. I definitely so I haven't been listening to music at work as much as I should, just because of how like it, it, like it's always a great way to keep moving. Um, what is this? Creative and industrious. One of Throw me a curveball here. Um, one thing with me for work is that sometimes I have days that are just, I get almost nothing done. And then the, the best days that I ever have at work are the ones when I just have something 
I have some easy running the entire time. Nobody bothers me, and I'm just work, you know, hammering away at something. And uh, I'm always on the lookout for uh, for more stuff to listen to. Funny the mention of pickles. I turn down the music a tiny bit. Um, The uh, the funny thing about uh, pickles is that uh, I always get the exact same brand at the at the at the grocery store, but ever since the quarantine, uh, it seems that they're they're always out. I don't know if everyone decided that they want pickles now, or maybe there was like a <laughs> you know maybe there was some like main ingredient shortage, or maybe somebody's hoarding them or something. Um, but the ones I got aren't so good. They're okay. They're just not. They're not amazing. They're not my top tier. They're the Ryu when I want Akuma. Proud pickler. The shelves in Tosudo's store rise almost twenty feet, filled with jars of colorful foods. He weighs from a rolling ladder. The supply here could feed a small town for months. Maybe that's where they all went. To some small town. I'll pickle anything. I'll pickle anything you can imagine here. Anything. Look at these shelves and call me a liar. He's gonna get industrious right away, isn't he? Don't do this to me. Let's fi let's let's build an accord immediately. Oh good. Just keep going. Keep going with that. He only has one thing that can match too. So I hope I can keep the accord going. This is the only one I think will work. Which may be a work. And we start with that chord. Carrots? Cucumbers? If it fits in a jar, I'll pickle it. Doesn't fit in a jar? I'll make it fit. Pepper and cheese? Uh, this wasn't my idea, believe it or not. Folks cried, cried out. Pseudo! Sell, sell those amazing pickles. Alright, keep keep the accord going as long as we can, I guess. Yeah. Hold on a sec. Is this gonna what is this gonna do? This is not gonna this is just gonna, not gonna keep it. Okay. Let's keep going. I don't have anything to work. I'll have to uh I literally, like, we'll have to disagree. But if we do disagree, I'm gonna reconsider. Come on, kid. Everyone likes pickles, right? Can't convince me otherwise. I'm not disagreeing, I just don't have the words. Is that a fatigue? Where did you come from? Ah, no. I can well, I can accommodate. Oh no. I, well, what? You can you can work with this. Put that in there. Crap! <laughs> damn it! I'm ruined. Teach me how to not. Teach me how to buy pixels. Damn you! Well, let me throw out- if I'm gonna do this, I should throw out something that isn't gonna work because I have nothing that'll work anyways. I can get more shit figured out. So either the fatigue... ...or logical and like, either of these is a choice. Hmm. Give this labor a spin. It'll knock your socks off. Oh, crap! That's how that works. <laughs> Damn it! I, I did it to myself. I should have. So, I should have. So I didn't realize that uh, the next conversation he can he can trip over it with the end of the conversation. What I should have done is uh, chose something that ended uh, that he'd be able to match up with. Okay, I'm learning. What's this I hear about an old man becoming a pickle? Preposterous! Please, no such nonsense in my shop. 
Tasudo pulls out some jars that look like they belong in a circus instead of a store, and it turns you off the whole ordeal. Oh, I bet I can come back now that I've learned a bit. The problem is, is that uh, whatever I choose here is going to make it potentially more difficult later on to uh, to connect. But uh, also, if industrious is a thing, then that means that later on, um, one of the later cities probably is full of this. back and say hi again. Say I'm sorry. She whistles for me to come over. She's gonna give me a talking to. Tell me to stop stop bugging the pickle man. Nadine loading up her vehicle with pots of kimchi. Whistles for your attention. It's hard to tell if the condescension if the condescension is intentional or not. Hmm. So you made it. The caravan splits here. I don't take greenhorns out towards uh Old Mary. Too dangerous for your maiden voyage. If you take the direct road back from here, you'll be fine. It's mostly downhill that direction. A scenic route, too. Well, we can build a cord. I don't know if I want to do that so early. But I guess I have to. Wait. Oh, right. Yeah, so I have to pay attention now. I have I have either side to join up with, so we're fine. Speaking of liabilities, have you seen Ramir? Lost him around Clifton. Hope he's not getting into too much trouble. There's eventually going to be a, a part where um, other characters will have three different symbols that I can interact with as well. Listen, out of respect for your mom, I'm going to tell you something I probably shouldn't. Ever heard of the Rilkers? They're practically royalty in Old Marais. And got ties all over the place. Their word's law, and they threatened to shut the caravan out of Old Marais if I don't drop Bartow from the route. Now, I'm not one to bend so easily, but it does make things more complicated. Your store really needs to shine for the caravan to stand up to them. Oof. Good. I'm realizing though, luckily I have the accommodate. Why is this happening now? I can't say. Could be your mom had some dirt on the Rilkers. Word is she had some run ins with them in the past. By all accounts, they're the type to hold grudges. I'm glad I can accommodate, otherwise I wouldn't be able to get through this. Timing could be better, but it's important you understand. Your mom, she was a complex woman. She had lots of opinions and made a habit of making waves wherever she went. Not the easiest person to travel with. You follow this caravan's path, the same one your mom took, and you're bound to learn some things about her. Some good, some not so much. Luckily here I can just throw out anything and I'll be fine. Like, th like this will work. What? Oh, she didn't have a match, right. I need to pay more attention to her, uh, to her deck. You get that truck inspected recently? That oil slick there... Usually... Uh, ain't usually a good sign. Trust me when I tell you. You don't want to break out. Uh, you don't want to break down out here. Well, in that case, I'll play. I'll play the super potentially safe. Oh, I'll play this one first. There. Uh, I've almost boned myself. Let's not do that ever again. <laughs> there. Let's let's get through this. Let's let's uh let's play the the safe bet. I guess. 
As for you and me, I don't believe kids always take uh, take after their parents. That'd be unfair. So don't start trouble, and there won't be none. I run this caravan, so no one else has to, and I like I like it run a certain way, safe. Be grateful to Nadine for telling you the whole story, even if you're not sure what to do with that info. I endured the caravan route. Hmm. I think, uh... I wonder if these cards are always potentially bad. And Accords are better, maybe. Like, if I... It might be safer to choose, like, like duplicates of everything. Like that. And then have, like, two... Two... Too many. I'm gonna take... I might want to take, uh... So I have I have one here, one there. Yeah. It might make it harder to change things around, but it'll also make it easier to build an accord. Seems like a better choice. Let's go. So I think I'm leaving, right? Aren't I planning to go back? Yeah. So I can go to to Mare later, but for now I gotta go home. Home's the best bodega in the region. Sure you want to return home? This will end your current trip, and you won't be able to leave again until you unpack your items. Uh, hold on. Do I have a choice? Can I? Can I? Can I instead choose to go? Yeah. Otherwise, I'd... Oh, I guess I can go back. I don't have enough... No one is here to speak, no one is here to speak. Yeah, I only have one choice to go to Barto. Let's go. Let's go unpack. Oh, I got another fatigue on the way home. Well, that's gone. Don't worry about that. Coming home to Barto after time away feels strange, like someone rearranged your bedroom while you slept. All the same pieces are still here, mostly, but what's different and what's misremembered, there's no telling. Alright, Elias. Best friends forever. You always sad. Turning home, you find Elias at home, sitting on the floor, surrounded by craft materials uh, surrounded by craft materials. Blue markers, cardstock, thin polystyrene sheets. He looks exhausted. Uh, hey, hey. Look who made it back in one piece. While you were gone, I made something you could stock in the store. Bartow key rings. People love souvenirs. Hmm. I thought you'd have more stuff at the store by now. Good thing I got your back. They'll make good mementos to help travelers, travelers remember Bartow. You don't owe me this time. Haha, <laughs> uh, unless they're really popular. Oh, and you won't believe what else I found while you were gone. Check it out. Mom's old locket. The one we, we got in trouble for for spying on? Well, let's give you let's give you a way out. Ooh. Yeah, he's got the same one. I guess we'll keep the accord going. Or, I guess that wasn't an accord. Uh, don't worry, I guess I won't get upset with you for taking it this time. In fact, I think you should. A good luck charm of your own. You might need it out on the road. Anyway, how was the caravan? Did Nadine say anything else about Barto Or your mom? Uh... You didn't have to break the news to anyone, did you? I bet rumors probably spread fast on the road. Get 
Do we build an accord? We can. <laughs> Let's immediately kill the conversation. No, I'm going. I'm not going to do it. Not doing it. I guess I'll... Mm. He has both. I'm going to try throwing this in here. Or actually, you know what? Oh yeah, let's just go with it. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. And we got the Accord at the end of that, too. So I could throw something... Uh, I could throw a mismatch at the beginning of the next uh, next conversation. Next turn. Uh, you managed to get Nadine to tell you more? That's impressive. You're a natural. I wonder what the real critters have got to do with your mom. They've got ties all over the place, from what, I've, what I hear. No wonder they're able to pressure the caravan. Gotta say, Nadine kind of intimidates me, but maybe there's more to her than meets the eye. Let's let's go ahead and break the accord. Build it back up again. Yeah. I guess you had to be tough to make it out there on the road. Kind of like your mom was. Sounds like they butted heads. I'm still not sure I trust Nadine. Rilkers or no Rilkers. It'd be real bad for lots of good people if the caravan stopped coming here. We gotta keep the store uh we gotta keep the store doing well, so there's no excuse for them to drop Barto from the route. Hmm. I wanna get that fatigue and I wanna get this one out of the way. And this I can play because of the accord. There. That, that's much better. Look at all these reasonable choices, especially because of the accord. Yeah. Whatever. I will make a fuss when, when Nadine comes around. Maybe. But she's not some authority on your mom. Elias is bursting with excitement over the store. Hopefully these key rings will be a hit. Everyone has keys, right? That's a fact of life. I actually, uh... For the longest time, I used to have way too many keys. Um... Just for random stuff. Um... And I got... I got my, 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 right now, my, uh... My keys are slimmed down to literally, like, car, apartments, uh... Well, you know, the uh, lock for when I go to the gym, and uh, and mail, and like nothing else. So I used to have like a bunch of other keys for stuff, stuff that I didn't need to keep the keys for, like filing cabinets and stuff. It was all a, just a giant ass key ring. I, I guess I must have gotten into a habit of like <laughs> when I was younger. I kind of like I was very into collecting, like building the biggest collection of like random mundane shit. Um, I actually collected pogs for a while, of all things. You know, actually, I think, uh, I don't know exactly where, but I'm pretty confident that my old pog collection is somewhere, probably still at my aunt's house or something. It used to be, I think, at my grandma's or something. Um, but, uh, that's, that's all long gone. Pot collection and uh, old random drawings. When I when I I was never an artist to any real degree, but I used to be better at drawing random stuff than I am now. I because I, I used to spend a lot of time just drawing just random stuff. Because uh, I mean that that was one of the things I sort of aspired to for the longest time. Like I wish I could I wish I could art. <laughs> I wish I could draw. Uh, to any real competent degree. That's like one of my missing skills. I want to learn how to draw... If I had infinite time, I would learn how to draw well enough to support um, hobby projects, rather than being like a very bad graphic designer and just trying my best. Uh, 
Elias found Mom's old bucket. Wonder what's inside. Oh, I could get another accommodate. That would help a lot, actually. What card do I not care about? It's probably gonna be this one. I mean, I could replace this with an accommodate right away. Is there anything I? Is there any better choice? No. Accommodate. Accommodate. We do. Let's go. He's making more key rings. Okay. Unpack your truck and rest before your next trip. I guess that just takes a day. Uh, welcome home. When everything is unpacked, let's hang out. Elias. We've got uh, licorice from Machenko. We've got uh, the key rings. The Barto key rings. And I've got uh, matcha. What else do we got? Ooh. Oh, right. That's how many days. So it's per trip. That's what it is. You and Elias catch up, picking up right where you left off. You tell him about your first time in the quaint town of Althurst. He tells you how proud he is that the store's grand reopening was a success, praising you for stocking an impressive three items. Uh, will it be enough for the caravan to stand up to the Rilkers? Well, I guess so. Uh, the funny thing, actually, is that... Uh, if they're setting up for bigger goals, uh, past just picking up three items, then, uh, I'm imagining this is gonna get very difficult, very complex, very, very quickly. Uh, the skateboarding teen was excited to find licorations in stock, his favorite treat. A man wearing a hat and sunglasses bought a Bartow keyring, praising the artistry in a deep voice. The hydroponic farmer bought the matcha, the matcha to study, hoping to improve his own tea crops. Wonder if I'll have to memorize who these who these are. A flock of morning doves. Hold on. Uh, bunch up on a dormant power line, bending it beneath their weight. Little scuffles break out, miniature avian dramas raining down feathers, the road calls. Owner at the roadhouse and mom's old friends, and Dean. Okay. Well, luckily I speak all of these things. Alright, Samuel. You're not, you're not the succulent plant that I bought earlier. You're just, you're some other Sam. Samuel's out back by the smoker. Is, I don't know if it's me, but does Samuel... Does anybody ever get that, like... So everybody gets it every while or so, depending on what word or name they're looking at. But some... Some... Sometimes, I, like, stuff stops making sense. Like, I look at I look at the way something's spelled, and the pronunciation stops making sense. you got that semantic satiation problem. And I'm getting that with Samuel. Uh, he's back out by the smoker, flipping an enormous rack of ribs with his bare hands. He's been in it so long he barely feels the flames. He wipes his greasy mitts on his apron, then rushes over to give you a bear hug. Give me, give me some of them ribs. Maybe he's tatted up too. There you are, kiddo. I was starting to think you'd forgotten about your old pal Samuel. Uh haven't seen you around so much lately. Not since, well, since the funeral. I can keep the accord going and that will make the next one easier. Losing your mom felt 
Losing your mom left a giant-sized hole in this town, that's for sure. Everyone here has been so damn down, including myself. And the fact that business has been so slow around here lately, well, that don't help things much either. It's good to mourn, but let it go on too long, then it becomes a mope. That's not good. Not what your mom would have wanted. Been thinking, Bartow could really use a kickstart. A pick-me-up, if you will. Some ribs? Uh, a night of fun and dancing right here at the Roadhouse to rejuvenate the town and hopefully even bring in some new customers. What do you think? If, if, if that includes ribs, I am totally down. Let's keep going. I will accommodate your ribs, sir. I already spoke to Elias about organizing a show... Organizing a show portion in the evening, and guess what? He's planning on doing some... doing a special performance. Didn't realize he knew how to play any instruments, but hey, that kid's full of surprises. I'm also going to be cooking up something special for the occasion. But oh, that reminds me. Think you could help me stock up on my secret ingredient? What is that? Ribs? Or ribs? Barbecue sauce? I'll get anything. Just give me some of them ribs. Uh, I'll... Uh, oh man, like, I, w I want to get some new cards, but I don't want to lose my accommodate when I do it. So let's go. Or wait. Yeah. How is that? What did I? Hold on a sec. Was that in the comedy? Oh, because it duplicates the previous one. Right, I messed it up. Okay, I thought that was like a get out of jail free card, uh, which doesn't make any sense. I should really pay more attention to how this works. Uh, why the long face, kiddo? You haven't forgotten our secret handshake, have you? Chatter allows you to immediately play another card. Oh, figures. He will be the chatty one. <laughs> you can make some nasty combos with that. In fact, actually, if you... Uh, wow, that's crazy. You can just talk right all over somebody. Okay. I'm fine with it. You want to talk? Let's go. Clifton's famous for its street food, but it's the roasted nuts I can't get enough of. Simply heaven in a shell. Damn, I messed it up. <laughs> I could have gotten I could have gotten some sweet, salty nuts in my mouth. Thanks, kiddo. It's so good to see you hold down the fort. I know it's hard, but we'll get through all this together. Samuel's jubilant disposition is infectious. He sends you on your way, but not before giving you another hug and a handful of smoke ribs. We got it! And we also have a new objective. He wants he wants some roasted nuts. I would love to chatter. I totally would like to chatter. I can't not take this. Why wouldn't I? I'll I'll do the safest option though. I'll chatter and just we'll just, we'll augment this one with chatter. And hopefully that doesn't <laughs> hopefully that's not a mistake. Oh wow, I could bail or I can keep going. Hmm. One, hold on, let me see what my deck is looking like. How's our deck? Okay, so I have a couple of things I can try to get figured out here. Oh, this is when the fatigue cards show up, right? Okay, that makes more sense, yeah. So you have a few days without fatigue and that fatigue shows up. Okay, that's workable. Uh, and we're here, so we have a ways to go before the first leg like, of fatigue. Seems like they're they're mostly equidistant. 
Except for here. <laughs> if you push it, you start paying for it. Okay. Hmm. Do I want to risk taking another Accommodate? Because Accommodate uh, is not as good as I thought it would be. I still want to talk to Elias, but I don't want to swap any cards out. Same thing with, with the Dean. You're about to leave. Where is he? Maybe he'll get me some more stuff, too. Instruments needed. You locate Elias by following the sound of a woodwind instrument. He's standing on a rock, performing for an empty field. You've never seen him use an instrument in his life. You have 50 days to learn. I need your help. Samuel told you about the big event, right? We're going to pull in so many visitors, we won't even need the caravan. Maybe. I'm going to perform, but I'm not a musician. Mm. Oh. Gotta get rid of that one. If I can build an accord. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get a reconsider, I think. Well, I don't know. I can keep the accord going for a bit. Good. We keep the accord, and I can still use my reconsider. Perfect. Seriously, I only have this plastic recorder. I can't go on stage with this. I die right there on the spot. Of the couple of instruments that I've played to any degree whatsoever, I have a horrendous rendition of Hot Cross Buns. Uh, if you find any instruments on the road, please grab them for me. Not for free, of course. I'm good for it. Maybe you can find something at the big Alderhurst Cook-Off Festival. Uh, your mom used to bring the best toys back from that. I mean... I'm too old for toys now, of course, but they sell instruments there, too. Uh, well, you know, I could keep the... I could keep the Accord going. Or... there we go, perfect, okay. Oh, dude, I could finish this out by using a Chatter. Because I'll keep the Accord, I'll get the Chatter, and then I'll just throw this out. I think... let's, let's try this. Let's see if I understand this. Cool. Cool. Yeah, here we go. In the meantime, I'll just practice with this recorder. Worst case scenario. Just remember, you're not alone. We're doing what we can to keep this town on the caravan route, too. This behavior is unusual for Elias. This desperation for new experiences. Your promises alleviate his worries, at least for the moment. I don't think I want another Accommodate. I think I'm good. Alright, we're gonna talk to Nadine. Uh, this will probably be the last... Uh, the last conversation for tonight, because it is getting kind of late. Uh, Nadine is checking in with the caravan ears. Kicking tires and preparing for the road ahead. If you ride with a caravan this time, it's the full route. No training wheels. Think you can handle that? I usually expect folks to be more experienced before taking them along. I'm making ex an exception here. I won't hold your hands. I can help around this Ramina. Ramina? But I've got to look out for everyone else, too. Ramina. She's she is she has totally let me win this one. Also, uh, oh, I could chatter my entire way through this. So I, I, at least at that point, I could get rid of. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of. I need to chatter my way through this. Or I could accommodate. 
I don't think this will shatter. This will just keep it going in that direction. Oh, she's got a dual-sided everything? Wow, this thing is... I want this. I want this card so much. This is a good one to get. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give myself a reconsider with that, too. The road from Alders to Romina is mountainous. Be prepared. I'll, I'll be good. I came by the store earlier. Not bad. If you can keep this up, Barto might stay on the route after all. Believe it or not, I have faith in you. You made it to Althurst your first time out. It's a promising start. Well, I can break I can break the cord and steer this in a different direction. I could break the cord and give her options. She has both. I'm gonna give this a shot. Yeah, now we have another cord. That's perfect. Let's keep it going for now. Now I can kind of just put anything. It doesn't matter. Well, it matters for the next choice. I'll give her flexibility for the next. Well, no, that is it. That's literally it. Doesn't matter what I put up here. Yeah, we're good. We're not worrying about the next uh, next pip. You know, you are welcome to ride with us. But I won't lie and say the caravan is always the easiest route. It's good for providing safety and expertise, but it's a long road. You'll get a good haul, but you'll be exhausted by the end. I'll get you there, but it's still on you to acquire the goods you need. Just remember, you can't please everyone, and you'll have a hard time on the road if you try to. Speaking speaking directly to how this is going to go, too, because... I, uh, the more flexibility I give myself with the conversations, the more it's going to be difficult to keep up with everybody. I'm not going to have enough cards. The full route. She announced to herself as she gives your truck a once-over and continues with her inspections. I kind of do want to get uh, an observant. Oh man, I don't have a place to put this either. Chatter I really like. Ooh, ooh, take this one. That's what we're doing. Yeah, now I ha I'm at least flexible now. Yeah. Alright. So this is getting, like, now that I'm understanding some of how this works, this is really, really cool. I really wish that I had uh, not hesitated so much in checking this out. Um, and I'm really looking forward to streaming it again, uh, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, depends on how work goes, as it always does.